Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And today we're gonna to be doing a performance review with the Nike Flyby Mid 3. And this is gonna be kind of like a does a basketball or I put it in the title. I mean, obviously it's a basketball shoe and it should basketball, but it's Nike's cheapest basketball shoe. It's going for 65 bucks, which is extremely cheap. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, the Flyby Mid 1 and 2, I was definitely not interested in at all. And also I'm not interested in the <laughs> Air Max Impact or whatever. Uh, I'm sorry guys, uh, some of you guys did ask me to review it, but I was like, ah, I don't really know. It's like a cheap Air Max and I just don't really want to get it, you know? Uh, but this did intrigue me just because it looks pretty similar to uh, the Renew Elevate. And the Renew Elevate was so amazing. As far as the foam goes, we don't know what it is. It just says Nike foam. Um, but anyways, if you guys do want to get it, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description box. But let's get it started off with the Tractiones. And as far as the overall traction pattern goes, we have, it's pretty much, or there's a little bit of a uh, wavy herringbone right here in the toe box. We have a pivot circle with the Nike logo. And then we got kind of like a grid coming from the midfoot to the heel. And right here, we have a little bit of herringbone again. But how's the traction, right? The traction is really nice, guys. And uh, I feel like I needed to break it in maybe like a couple of times. For like the first time to the second time I've tried these, it wasn't amazing. I was still getting a good bite, but it wasn't amazing. But after the first couple of times, it started to get really, really good. It has a nice loud squeak, a very nice bite on the clean court. And as far as performance on a dusty setting, it's pretty nice, right? Um, it doesn't pick up dust that quickly. I would say every like three to four plays. And also it was easy to wipe off. You just go once or twice and you're good to go and uh, you can play again. And again, like I said, it doesn't pick up dust that quickly. And also it's a cheaper shoe and Nike for some reason in their cheaper budget shoes, they make durable outsoles. And then for their more expensive shoes, which we're paying more money for, they give us crappy durability, which makes no sense. But anyways, yeah, uh, this seems like it's gonna be very, very durable. The rubber is super hard. The grooves are very deep and uh, we have a lot of rubber as well as far as the surface area goes. So uh, durability, I feel like it's gonna be good too. So if you're gonna be playing on an outdoor court, you should be fine. So attraction overall is really, really good. And I had no issues with it. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. Uh, as far as the heel goes, we have a nice curved shape. Look at that nice and rounded and also we have a pretty much a fully exposed midsole so it's super smooth here in the heel and then here in the forefoot we have a nice curved shape as well and a lot and a lot of forefoot flex heel to toe transition is super smooth when you're running down the court and i really liked it and now moving on to the cushioning setup which is my favorite part about this shoe it's so nice right so Core feel is really low to the ground. And if, if you guys have ever tried the Renew Elevate, it feels very, very similar, but I would say even a little bit softer, right? So step in comfort is very nice. Like walking around in it, you get a nice, just a very subtle compression right underneath your foot. It's not anything crazy, but uh, it's pretty comfortable. It's way better than just a stiff foam, right? And they, Nike doesn't tell us what type of foam it is. It, it, on their website, on the tech specs, it just says, energy returning foam or Nike foam or lightweight foam or whatever. It doesn't say it's Renew. It says nowhere on the shoe that it's Renew, but I'm guessing maybe it is Renew because it feels very similar to the Renew Elevate cushioning setup. And we can see kind of like the pattern, right? But yeah, it's low to the ground. Here in the heel, there's a good amount of compression. Uh, there's a nice rebound back as well, like a little bit of an energy return, especially here in the heel, but also in the forefoot, uh, just because the step and comfort is very, very nice. Impact protection is great. I will say one thing though, it does bottom out though. Uh, it, it's still pretty soft and I still like it, but it definitely doesn't feel as soft as when I first got it, which definitely does suck. And uh, that makes sense. All foams do bottom out eventually. It just uh, depends on how long it takes, right? And Renew, it bottoms out pretty quickly, but I mean, for 65 bucks, uh, it's super nice, guys. And it's just a nice responsive cushioning setup that's low to the ground with good impact protection and overall softness, but it's not like too soft to the point where like you feel slow. So it, I really enjoyed it. And I feel like if the Curry 8 or the Curry 9 had this cushioning setup, it would probably be my favorite shoe of all time just because this this cushioning setup is super nice. So uh, there you go. I really like the cushioning setup and I was very, very surprised at that. Now moving on to the materials. I mean, you don't 
don't really expect much. <laughs> it's a very cheap mesh material. It's very, very thin. It conforms to your foot very well. It has a little bit of support, you know, good amount of support, I would say. So uh, overall on foot, it feels great. We have some fuse here in the toe box for extra added durability and support. Uh, here on the lateral side, we have like these dots, right? And it's, it's kind of like a fuse material to add a little bit uh, more support, of course, for lateral containment, which we'll get into. And here in the midfoot, it stays extremely thin, right? So it's a very cheap feeling material and it looks cheap, but on foot, honestly, I don't really mind, right? Here on the tongue, it says Nike. And as far as the tongue goes, there's very minimal padding. So it feels extremely minimal on foot. And then here in the ankle area, there's also very minimal padding. So overall, this material on foot feels extremely minimal, uh, but it's still comfortable just because it's, it's pretty damn soft and you don't really have to break it in or anything. The only bad thing about it is that it feels really cheap and also looks very cheap, right? Now moving on to the fit, it runs a little bit long, just a tiny bit. Uh, I mean, there's only a little bit of length for me. Two things though, it, it is pretty damn snug here in the toe box and it is kind of narrow. So I feel like if I went down half a size, uh, it might actually be a little too short and it also might be a little too tight here in the toe box for me personally. So uh, I feel like for me, going true to size was okay. I was okay with having a little bit of length. But if you have a very, very skinny foot and you want a really, really snug fit, maybe go down half a size. But again, just be careful with that. Uh, if you have a wide foot or you want a roomier fit, I would suggest going up half a size or maybe even a full size. But for me, overall, the fit was pretty damn good. Not perfect for me personally, but no, it was pretty damn nice. All right, moving on to the support and lockdown. I had no issues, especially for lateral containment. So as you guys can see here in the forefoot, uh, the foam does come up and we have this like synthetic leather material as well. And, and also, like I mentioned before, these little dots to uh, strengthen the material. So in the forefoot, I was good to go. I had no issues with lateral containment there. And also here in the heel and, and also in the midfoot, the foam comes up and we have an internal TPU heel counter. So uh, I had no issues with lateral uh, containment. And also for lateral stability, uh, there's not a there's really no outrigger, but it protrudes out a little bit as far as the midsole goes. So lateral stability was good for me as well. And uh, this is, of course, it's a fly, it's the flyby mid. So this is, is this a mid cut? That's kind of weird. I would think maybe this is more like a low cut shoe a little bit. Maybe this comes up a little bit. Maybe that's what makes it a mid, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, I thought the KD13 or the 14 was like a mid top, but whatever. Uh, it feels like a low top. You don't really get any type of ankle movement restriction. It feels, like I said, like a low top. So uh, don't expect good ankle support. But for me personally, I don't like to have ankle movement restriction. I like to feel very, fluid in my ankle. <laughs> so overall, I had no issues with a uh, lockdown or support. All right, moving on to the weight of the shoe. Of course, as you guys all know, the cheaper the shoe, the less tech the company puts in the shoe. And the less tech the company puts in the shoe, the lighter the shoe is kind of, right? So I'm guessing this is going to be super freaking light, like 10, 11 ounces. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. So 10.16 ounces. Let's check the other pair. 10.26 ounces, so extremely freaking light. That's the same exact weight as the Curry 8 or the Curry 9. And yeah, guys, it feels really minimal on foot, but also you feel really quick and responsive just because traction is good, cushion is very responsive and low to the ground. I had no issues with support, so my foot felt locked in. And uh, yeah, it's just, I really like playing in the shoe and it felt really, really nice. Uh, and now moving on to the ventilation. Ventilation's okay. So um, there's really not a whole lot of airflow just because there's no like ventilation holes or anything. Maybe a little bit here with the mesh in the tongue, um, but uh, there's not a whole lot of airflow, but uh, like I mentioned, the material is super thin, so it doesn't keep in heat that well. So overall, the ventilation is pretty good. Uh, your foot isn't gonna be super hot in the shoe. Moving on to the aesthetics, it's not bad. You know, I like this colorway, it's just a simple black and white colorway. I mean, it looks kind of cheap, you know, and you can definitely tell it's a cheaper shoe just because of the materials, but overall the aesthetic and what they did for the $65 price tag is very, very nice in my opinion. So overall, I, I like it. Tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, oh my gosh, this is a new Renew Elevate and this came out I feel like like a month or two ago and um, I, I was a little reluctant. I was like, I don't really want to, man. Like, I don't know, fly by mid one and two, 
didn't really pique my interest that much, although I try to uh, review as many basketball shoes as I can for you guys, especially the budget ones, right? Uh, but I was like, okay, let's give it a try. I mean, the, the foam looks very, very nice. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Renew Elevate. So I went and got it and I've been playing in it. And this is like, I really like playing in this. And I'm testing this shoe and also the Ushai 15. And that's it. <laughs> like, this is kind of like my backup shoe. I, I really enjoy playing in it. It's super lightweight, very minimal feeling, but also super responsive. So if you like that type of feel, kind of reminds me a little bit of the Curry 8 and the Curry 9, but also with better cushion, then uh, you will definitely enjoy this shoe. And I feel like most people will enjoy this. Like if you're a bigger dude, if you want cushion, you should be fine. I mean, it's not the most supportive shoe just because the material I feel like is a little bit flimsy. And so if you're looking for a super supportive shoe, probably not the best option, but uh, I feel like it's adequate enough. It was good for me. So uh, I feel like most positions and most play styles will enjoy this shoe. And for 65 bucks guys, bang for your buck. One of the best shoes you can get for the money right now and I was super surprised. So it definitely does basketball. It basketballs very, very well and does it for an extremely good price. Uh, there's three colorways available. I believe there was like an all black, a black and red one, and then this black and white colorway. So, but anyways, that about concludes my review of the Flyby Mid 3. I really like this shoe. Again, affiliate links are in the description box if you guys do want to cop this, which I highly do recommend. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.